Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to make a quick little video on gold here because I think it's something that's gonna do pretty well over the next couple months. And I'm not talking about buying real physical gold, but investing in paper gold through ETFs. So this is something that anybody can invest in and there are really three specific reasons why that I think gold is gonna be a good trade here. So throughout the video, I'm gonna go through all of those reasons and then at the end, I'll show you some ways that you could potentially use options to leverage your position. So let's get right into it. All right. So reason number one is interest rates. And this is because gold loves low interest rates, which is exactly what we're starting to see develop right now. And when we're in an environment where rates are not only low, but continuing to trend lower, Gold picks up on that and does very well. So to put this move in interest rates into perspective, here is the one year chart on the 10 year yield. And you can see that it absolutely ripped for the first half of the year. But since the peak back in April, it has started to pull back. And you might not be able to tell from that chart, but just this past week, we had a big counter trend bounce where interest rates popped after the jobs report and started moving higher. So as a result of that, as interest rates started moving up, gold started to fall and it dropped over 5% in just a couple days. And just to show you how these two go hand in hand, let me show you how they look side by side on a 30 day chart. So here on this flexible grid, we have the 10 year yield on top and gold on the bottom. So you can see how clear this correlation is. For the past month, interest rates have been trending lower, which has led to gold trending higher. And if you don't like charts or technical analysis and you want some form of fundamental reason behind this move, the reason gold is very sensitive to falling or rising rates is because gold doesn't have a yield. So when rates rise during inflationary markets, people tend to funnel out of gold to chase higher yielding investments. But then when rates start to come back down, especially after going straight up for an extended period of time, like what we saw in the first half of the year, people start to passively flow back into gold. So interest rates are the major macro mover here. And when those move, a lot of other things move like gold. So this is a great way to play that move if you can identify the trending direction of rates to try to anticipate where they're headed next. And just FYI, this is what's happening right now. So be prepared to change your mindset because things obviously change every day. So if interest rates start to break out from their downtrend and actually continue to move higher, that's going to be bearish for gold. So just keep all that in mind. So as of right now, it is likely that the 10 year yield will continue to break down from here with gold and inflation both starting to slow. So in that case, right now, gold looks like a good trade in the near future. And if this breakdown in rates continues after that quick spike up that we saw last week, plus the other two factors that I'm going to be talking about later in the video continue, gold should have no problem taking another leg up from here. All right, so that right there is the first catalyst where we're gonna have interest rates that are probably going to continue to break down after a big bounce, which has proven to be very bullish for gold in the past. All right, so the second major reason why I like gold here has to do with gold's volatility. And similar to how the VIX tracks the volatility of the S&P 500, there's actually a volatility index for gold, which can be tracked using ticker symbol GBZ. So in general, a high level of volatility leads to major price swings and usually those swings are to the downside. So people like day traders absolutely love volatility because those quick price movements are where they make the majority of their money because they can profit from the stock going up or down whether they're buying calls or puts or whatever strategy they use. But if you're looking for a new investment opportunity where you can only make money on the long side, meaning that you can only make money if a stock goes up, then you wanna look for an environment with low volatility. And just to be clear, low vol doesn't mean that you still can't get big moves to the upside. You can actually get massive moves, especially in gold, but you're just going to be avoiding that shop that comes with higher volatility and that comes with that type of environment. And that's what we have right now. So take a look at gold vol or GBZ on this one year chart. So here on this one year chart, you can see that despite this little breakout we saw last week when gold dropped over 5%, we continue to break down to new lows. So that's exactly what you wanna see. You wanna see volatility continue to trend lower even after these quick moves up. And honestly, that volatility setup looks pretty similar to what we have in the S&P 500 and in the NASDAQ right now. And those are both at all time highs. So if you find something with volatility this low that's not at an all time high, that's definitely something that you wanna pay attention to. All right, so that is the second check mark. Now we have interest rates falling and 
volatility continuing to trend lower. And when you put both of those two together, it's very good for gold. So now let's look at the third point, which is a little more technical. So earlier in the video, I mentioned that the ETF that I like to use for gold is GLD. And from a technical standpoint, we are only one or maybe two decent moves away from a trend breakout. So let me pull up my charts and show you what that means. So here we have the one year chart on GLD and try to ignore all the lines and indicators that I have, especially on the bottom of the screen here. The main thing that I wanna point out revolves around this blue line, which represents our three month trending support level, where you can see that it has failed to break above the last few times that we've tested it, but now we have a catalyst. In the other pink lines here, we have our custom versions of bridge bands that represent probable channels for shorter term price movements. And you can see right where we are now, we are at extremely oversold levels. So even without any catalyst, a move off of that lower channel is probable. But then when we mix in rates and volatility, both collapsing from their current levels, we could definitely see a good rip back up. And the main reason that a trend level on really any stock or commodity is important is because that's when the momentum really starts to pick up. One month and three month price momentum are two very big components of algorithmic trading, which is what controls the majority of day-to-day -day price movements. So once you see a stock go from negative to positive price momentum, that's when more algorithms start to pick it up and when they start buying more aggressively. And last time we broke out above that trend level, gold ripped up over 8% in just a few days. So I'll be watching that level very closely if we do start moving again, but those are the three main catalysts that are lining up for gold right now. All right, so other than GLD, how could you go about trading this? Well, some other popular tickers are IAU, GDX, KL, but earlier I did talk about potentially using options to leverage your gold trade. And this is a pretty popular strategy because gold does not move nearly as much as most stocks on a day-to-day -day basis. So to capitalize on these smaller price movements, you're either going to need a much larger position size or you're going to have to leverage your position with options. Now with options does come more risk. So if you've never traded options before, I would probably just stick to shares and just try to get comfortable with options, whether you wanna try paper for trading or simulation training, but just to kind of really figure out how all of it works. But either way, I'll show you an example of what traders would look at and kind of how they would go about making this kind of trade. So one of the most popular and probably one of the safest ways to trade options with gold is through leaps or a long-term equity anticipation security. And the word leap might trip some people up, but they're essentially just options that have a very deep expiration, usually a few years out that are also very deep in the money. So the option price or premium that you pay to own it mainly revolves around the stock's price. And for those of you who haven't traded options in the past, one option contract controls 100 shares. So if you were to buy 100 shares of GLD, it would cost you over $16,000. But with options, you can get close to the same amount of leverage with much less money up front. So let me show you an example of a leap. If we pull up GLD's chart and then we go to trade, we can see the full options chain here. So all the way at the bottom, we have contracts expiring January 20th, 2023. So this is what's referred to as a leap. So let's check these out. All right, so here on the left, we have all of the calls and then strike prices in the middle. And on the right are all of the puts. So right now the share price is around $162, which means all of the contracts in the blue are in the money. And then all of these in the black are out of the money. So let's pull up a full list just so you can check all of these out. All right, so some key numbers to check out here when you're looking at any option in general is the theta, which tells you how much money you're going to be losing every day just by holding the contract. And then the delta, which shows you how much money you're going to make or lose for every $1 move in the stock's price. So all these contracts have a theta of one, meaning that they lose $1 a day. And say if we look at these 130s, for example, they have a delta of 86. So every time GLD goes up $1, this contract will go up $86 and vice versa. And then what you'll notice is as these contracts get deeper into the money, the delta goes up. So once you get really deep in the money and the delta goes over 90 and gets closer to 100, that is when owning the option contract becomes pretty much the same thing as holding 100 shares. So that's how they move. But now let's talk about how much these would cost. So if we look at those 130s again, you can see that one contract would cost you about $3,400 to $3,500. So they're still fairly expensive, but they're much cheaper than buying 100 shares for 16 grand. And these contracts are also more on the expensive side just because GLD is expensive, right? If you had a stock that was 
$30 compared to $160, the premium would obviously be a lot cheaper. I'm gonna make some more videos on options in the future, but I just wanted to give you a quick little explanation and just kind of an example of how traders would go about using leaps or using just different types of options to leverage up their gold positions. All right, so those are the three main reasons why I like gold right now, but like I said, Things can change very quickly, so those are just some things that you need to be paying attention to every day before you do make any decisions. But if you guys do wanna talk about more trade ideas with me and a group of other investors, check out our free Discord group. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And if you got any value out of that video, hit that thumbs up for me and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.